YouTube, how are you doing? This is Puck. Yesterday, uh, we went to collect the e-machine. It was, uh, what was it? The E520 from my friend. It was broken, it had a broken hard drive. Many things were wrong with it. It was full with dust. But uh, I fixed it and here it is. And I want to take the time to make a little video about it. Because I created a very special laptop. We're gonna turn it on. And let's take a look. You can see it's the E machine. Pressing enter. Lots of reflection. Booting the system. Takes a second. Ta -da. Ta -da 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 -da. Do -do 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 -do. And we're starting up the droid mod. What I did, in fact, I created a, a Android laptop with yeah with the iPad skin but I was busy with what's up I was installing what's up so um, let me see if they can call me now I want to show you my what's up laptop yesterday I went to a friend that had this laptop it's the e-machine the e520 as you can see here it is and it had a broken hard drive and it was running really hot so I had to open it and remove all the dust. It had no uh, adapter anymore. I, uh, I'm using one there, a spare adapter that I had. It has, doesn't look too nice, but in reality, it doesn't really look bad. It feels like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I cannot say what really happened with it because this one, also an e-machine, this one doesn't really have it, but I never rest my hand on here, so I think my my bro had lots of acid in his hand. Probably that's why it, well, it's not about that. It's about the Android. I'm running Android here, and I like to show you what I'm running. About the tablet, it's not a tablet, it's a computer. It's the model E520, it found the model, manufacturer E-Machine, as you can see, and the version is 4.2.2. Uh, so, um, yeah, this is my WhatsApp laptop, as I already said, with <laughs> the iOS 7 skin. So, yeah, that is, I like everything in one line, you know, I don't like going looking for and all these windows. It's a little bit too much for me, but you already know that. Um, this is my WhatsApp. It's running just fine. But uh, if you get the WhatsApp from the App Store, it won't work. When you install this, this is by the way Android x86. And to install this on uh, a computer, what you should do... In fact, what you should do is um, you must first boot the laptop. If possible, if you can find uh, the ISO on, on the internet, it's there. You must download it and then create a bootable USB stick. And the program that you should get is Gparted. And when you boot it with Gparted, make sure you download the one for X486 for or for, for X, X86 systems, the 486. Um, when you downloaded that one and you boot it with it, then you must delete uh, the drive and then create a X4 partition, Linux partition. Then when you did that and you uh, confirmed, you restart the system, but then with the Android 4.2, if you don't know how to do this all what I'm saying now, you must go ahead and watch my video how to install Android on any tablet or PC. Okay, it's in my list very popular video so when you did that created your drive and your drive is ready you boot up with um, with, your, with this version of 
Android, it's version 4.2. I did not go for 4.3, I tried it, but it gave me issues. The Wi Fi was not working, 4.4 uh, was also not working too good. So, 4.2 is the best version to install on the e machine E520. As you could see, everything is found. So I'm also going to make a link to the version that I uh, used for this. I will put it on my media file and then you can download it. So, you know, um, check that out. Okay, so now when you did that and you created your account and blah, 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 then you will have a working Android system. It will look a little bit different than this one, but this is the Aspire launcher that I installed. And that's why I have the iOS 7 look and feels. Yeah okay so what we're gonna do now what we're gonna do now is um, show you that this system will not be able to run whatsapp in the first place because if we go to the play store and we type whatsapp should be here somewhere what's up and we type what's up messenger then you will see that it's saying that it's not compatible what's up is not compatible with uh, that my device is not compatible but uh, as you can see what's up is running just fine this is the latest version of what's up um yeah whatever uh, the settings account I'm, I'm online now you know i just have no friends because i must add friends first you know how it goes so um yeah and i'm not really gonna use this this is just to show you how it works you know that you can build a whatsapp cq android computer you can make your own uh android book you know to call it this way and uh yeah it runs great uh consumes not too much uh, energy if you you know not use it just uh put it to go to sleep and then i didn't have to, uh, i didn't see any problems with it waking up etc uh this is a rooted system of course so um your super user here so you can use and uh, as you can see here, I have a firewall also installed. Let me show you the firewall. Where's my firewall? My firewall. Oh yeah, there it is. This is my firewall. Working just fine. Blocked lots of programs that have no need to go on the internet. You see? And I don't get no advertisings. Uh, the moment I install a program, you know, I just block it. Um, up here, I can also listen to my Suriname radio. This is for my Suriname people, Flex, and others. Radio stations. Oh, wait. This is bad. I must block this program, but I cannot block it because <laughs> it must play online content for me. So I cannot block it. But here you can see that we have all the radio stations from Suriname. That was Radio Apinti, Radio 10, Magic FM, Steve Miller, Garuda, this is from the Japanese people, Sky Radio. So I can listen to my Suriname music. It's really, it's really fun. Uh, I can do other things too. I can find every app. Oh yes, but how to get the WhatsApp? I forgot to tell you. Um, well, you need one mobile market, and when you go. Um, looking for one mobile market you will find it and it will install really easy really fast and this will let you install whatsapp because their version of whatsapp runs just fine 
Oops. Mobile market. Don't do this to me. You are on video. <sighs> it crashed. It bloody crashed. Unbelievable. One mobile market. And now it turned. It turned back. So here you have all the various sections medical music this is just like the app store but there's also an adult section so i don't know what that is so that is uh, yeah this is for the adults not for us to look at huh? only for adults huh? social and you can find programs like skype i think ip calling bloody blah Let's see if Skype is supported on this thing. Skype. I have no wipe I have no webcam on this thing, but Skype. Skype Wi-Fi. Whatever. Skype. Let's see if it works. Free. Okay. Install it, 5 megabytes. What I'm trying to see is how far I can go with the system, how much can I install. You know, don't forget we have a big hard drive here. And Skype has stopped, unfortunately, so it's not working. Uninstall. And let's go for this one. This is the Skype, the normal Skype, 16 megabytes. And you see the downloads go also really fast. This all is going over Wi-Fi. But of course, if you have a 3G connection, you can also make your phone like um, a Wi-Fi spot. And then you can also connect through, if, uh, through that connection, you know. That's how I do it when I'm in Suriname. It's not working, peeps. Skype is not working. Alright, so Skype is not working. That is really sad. But at least we know. Uh, let's turn it off mm. the app store play store here it is too bad that it's not working oops what is this Unblock Skype. What is this? Oh, unblock Skype. Let's try. Let's see what this is. Oh, unblock Skype means that you uh, some uh, some countries they block Skype, eh? that you cannot use it. This is uh, a program to unblock it. use as oh you see you can use it as ah, as American user okay nice let's see if it works I got a warning telling me on block Skype attempts to create a VPN connection this by proceeding you are giving the application permission to intercept all network traffic do not accept unless you trust the application otherwise you run the risk of having your data compromised by malicious software so you know I'm not gonna do it I will just go back I will not do it no not safe this is nonsense. I'm not gonna use this anyhow. You know. And I want to 
uninstall skype again and this crazy app not even working skype unbelievable and skype unblock for stop yes delete okay there you go well the most important things are working peeps it's not a crazy system i think you will like it and it's easy to build so go for it try it out and also try out the aspire um the aspire launcher because it's really cool so i'm gonna listen a little bit to some radio where are you there you are you yeah. Let me listen to the news. Suriname news. Anyway, I'm gonna listen to the news. Peeps, this was it. My Android laptop. Uh, did it with an old broken laptop. I uh, put a little hard drive in it. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. I think 160 gigabytes. So, you know, enough space to test out many apps. But then again this was just for fun i'm not gonna keep this system but it's possible if you have a spare laptop a e machine e520 for instance then you can uh, after you clean the dust out of it you know then you can um yeah install android on it and also build your own whatsapp computer anyway peeps thanks for watching if you think this video was useful hit that like and till my next video bye